Eleanor Roosevelt once said that nobody could make you feel inferior without your consent. Uh, and I thought of Eleanor Roosevelt's maxim when I stumbled upon a video by Music Lava. This woman was extremely upset that the media was perpetuating an image of overweight women as terrible as fat, as ugly, as sloppy. She cited uh, Perez Hilton as someone who was pudgy at one time himself and who proceeded to make fun of Kirstie Alley. But I'm here to tell you that nobody, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. These are words that we must know as we go about our regular tasks. If we insist that the media is right, if we insist that the celebrity industrial complex is right, we fall prey to what they tell us to do. But you and I both know that people are out there who have flaws, who have weight problems, who have drug problems, who have alcohol problems, who are flawed and fucked up, but you know what? They are not inferior. And they are not inferior because you refuse to give them your consent, just as Eleanor Roosevelt said. So for those who are looking for a celebrity or a prominent figure, uh, I write for a few newspapers. I'm not sure if that matters, uh, like Music Lava is looking for. I'm here to tell you that nobody can ever make you feel inferior without your consent. Whether you weigh 100, 200, 300, or 400, 400 pounds, it really doesn't matter. What matters is your ability to go ahead and be who you are without fearing or being concerned with what other people think. Aretha Franklin is a legend these days. And you want to know why? Because she didn't give one good fucking shit about what other people think. She got up before the microphone. She got up on stage. She let her talents speak for itself. She is a legend because like Eleanor Roosevelt, she didn't allow anybody to let her feel inferior. She did not give them her consent.